Hello and welcome back to Sakura Beach. P please don't suggest such absurd things. I'm just going to change the subject. So, which beach would you like to visit today? I think somewhere with waves would be nice for a change. I agree, somewhere fun. And with more people. Then I know just the beach to visit then. We're so lucky to have you as a guide, Seiji. Even though you're making a habit of being a pervert. Doesn't your door have a lock, though? You don't want me walking in there by mistake. You could just use that. That's not the point, idiot. We shouldn't have to lock the door in the first place. It's not that big of a deal to do it. And that's beside the point. Momoko just ignores her, though. So, Seiji, what would you like to do when we get back? I have no idea. Though the hotel does have a pool, you know. Might be good to go there, try and teach Ayumi how to swim. You, you, you idiot, the lessons you gave me yesterday will be more than enough. So you're telling me you've learned how to swim in just a day. Come on, Ayumi, wouldn't you like to have some more one-on-one -on -one time with Seiji? One-on-one -on -one time? Um, that sounds so, uh, so what? Nothing, you fool. Well, we can do that any time you want, Ayumi. So if you actually want to do it. Well, I, I wouldn't want you to go to the pool alone. There might be dangerous people there after all. I have to keep an eye on you. The only people I saw swimming there was this group of girls. Girls? Don't tell me you've been perving on them too. What haven't you been telling us, Seiji? How well do you know these girls? I don't know them at all. I just saw them swimming in there when I last looked. And when did you last look? This morning. Seiji, I know you're becoming an adult and all. But you really shouldn't perv on strangers like that. Okay, there is a difference between looking at someone and perving on someone. Yeah, why is it all the sort of vaguely manga anime-ish games that I seem to keep end up playing? Why is it that they all seem convinced that looking at a woman is the same as perving on them? Because there is a difference. Yo, know, it is possible to look at a woman without, you know, effectively leaning in and just staring right at their boobs. It's possible not to. <sighs> it should at least be someone you know. I don't think that's a good idea either. Typical. You only care when you get punished for it. You are a villain of the worst sort, Seiji. And villains will all be punished sooner or later. Why do you talk like a superhero? Oh, it's from her faith. In a blur, Ayaki sh Ayumi shoulder tackles Momoko before she, she can finish speaking. Sorry I bumped into you. Are you okay, Momoko? Oh my, I don't think she'll wake up until we get to the beach. How very unfortunate. You don't look very apologetic about it. I'm sorry, is the implication that she just knocked her friend out? Also, I've just noticed something. That photo on the wall, that's the background from Sakura Fantasy. The uh, one for the main title screen. Wow, I remember weird stuff to actually notice that. Huh. Anyway. Of course, I'm sorry, you stupid fool. Stupid fool is redundant. Shut up. Help me carry her. Yeah, they just knocked their fr What the hell? I'm sorry, if I was Momoko, I would not be friends with Ayumi because she's very violent. And this is coming from a guy who does sword fighting on a weekly basis. <sighs> We're finally back here. And we decided to go somewhere a little bit more populated today. I can only hope that neither of them act strangely while we're here. Given how they've been acting over the last day or so, though, I don't think I'm going to be that lucky. So, what should we do today? Hey, Yumi, did you pack that beach ball? What, what beach ball? You never told me about a beach ball. Come on, surely you remember, right? We did plan to bring it after all, didn't we? And an awkward moment of silence passes. Oh well, we could just do something else. It seems like nothing can upset Momoko. Why don't we make a sand castle? A sand castle? Yeah, I want to make one while we're here. Can we, Seiji? Sure, I've made heaps in my time. We'll make the grandest sand castle that this beach has ever seen. Don't you think that's a bit ambitious, idiot? How can you say that it'll be the best this beach has ever seen? You should always oh, you should always aim for the stars, Ayumi. Yeah, we'll make it as big as we can. 
It'll have stairs and a throne room and fortifications. <laughs> There's one thing I always admire about Momoko, is that she always puts her enthusiasm into everything she does. <laughs> God, I wish I had as much energy as her. Oh, I guess if you're both going to do it, I'll join in too. It'll be fun, Ayumi. Of course you should join in. It'll be like how we played together all those years ago. I think I vaguely remember that. Didn't we used to make forts out of mud and sticks? I think both of you would agree to help build a fort with me all the time. I never did that. I always built my own mud fort, and it was always better than yours. That's not what I remember, Ayumi. Didn't you always try to... Quiet! Let's get started on this sandcastle. As we worked together to begin construction of our sandcastle, I began to think back to our older days. The first day I met them had been an interesting one. I was just moving in with my grandfather on that day. I didn't talk much then, just kept to myself. I had a lot of issues back then. I didn't know how to cope with them either. Ayumi and Momoko seemed to ignore that though. And even though I was largely unresponsive, they dragged me along to play in the forest. And they wouldn't give up on me until I started talking to them. It was after my grandfather started showing me astronomy that I really began to come out of my shell. It was just something amazingly enlightening to a six-year-old that there's something that infinite out there. Momoko stopped putting on so much sand. Hey, you're the one doing that. Both of them are arguing over a sand castle, of all things. <sighs> I enjoy relaxing on the beach. Gives me plenty of time to think. Well, and to daydream. Oh, with those two around, I haven't had too much time to myself. <laughs> Momoko's done her best to try and stop me from daydreaming too. And I think both of them are trying their best to get my attention here. Why they would think that doing that is beyond my comprehension, but... <sighs> they've never acted like this in the past. Or if they have, I'd, maybe I just haven't noticed it. So the question here is, if they're acting abnormally... But there's just been so much that I haven't been noticing. I'll think about that later though. For now, I think it's time for a lunar voyage. And I picture myself walking across the surface of the moon, its white stone illuminated by the sun. Earth, in all of its green and blue splendor, sits in the sky, looking down at me like a clouded eye. As much as I dream about space, I often forget the beauty of the planet I'm living on. Thousands of species, billions of people, countless stories, countless mysteries. I would like to be able to actually look down on the Earth like this one day. From some faraway planet or moon, just reflecting on the world that I left behind. Perhaps I should become an astronaut. And given how much I love space, it would make perfect sense, wouldn't it? Just imagine, one day space travel could be real. Seiji, come on! I take it he means commercial space travel, not you know, actual space travel, because we do have that. It costs an insane amount, and nobody's willing to put in the money to go any further than high orbit at the moment, but... Uh, you know, we've been to the moon. Sorry, conspiracy theorists, but we have been to the moon. Or well, the Yanks have, at any rate. I open my eyes to see Momoko standing over me. You're not going to have any fun there. Go into the ocean! like I don't have much of a choice. She's already seized me by the arm and she's dragging me towards the water. In fact, she's gripping my arm enough to make it feel like it's going to snap. Well then, is there something I'm forgetting about? Where's Ayumi? Ayumi was here a minute ago. Oh, there she is. I'll be back in a minute, Seiji. Momoko dives after a black shape in the water. After a few moments, she emerges again, pulling out a dazed-looking Ayumi. Are you having fun, Ayumi? Don't you just love the beach? I know I do. Ayumi seems to wake up a little bit then. I thought I was done for. Oh well, can't be helped. I guess we need to do those lessons sooner rather than later. S sounds fine to me. And she managed to say that before fainting again. Yeah, we should probably get her somewhere where she can rest. <sighs> I'm going to head back. Aw, but I want to stay at the beach for a bit longer. Well, I guess you could rest on the beach. You go and have fun, Margo. I'll keep an eye on her. Thank you, Seiji. You're always so selfless. I'll be back before you know it. And as I drag Ayumi out of the sea, Momoko continues to merrily dive through the waves. So, hang on. You're pulling your unconscious friend out of the sea 
and you're being very, very casual about it. Well, I think I've uh, discovered yet another, you know, winged cloud, winged cloud trope. All their characters are dickheads. Seriously, <laughs> these three are all terrible people. <sighs> the two are akin to the sun and the moon. <laughs> really, got to stop making comparisons to space now. I think about it. It's going to become a bad habit if I'm not careful. Yeah, I'm, there's not going to be any aliens, are there? And I'm going to be really disappointed. Ayumi didn't feel like doing much else today. She decided to head back to the hotel. I think it's just as well. She had a rough time in the surf. She made me swear I'd give her some swimming lessons when I got back, though. She really was determined today, wasn't she? To think, she kept going out there despite not being able to swim at all. Anyway, Seiji, we should get her something to eat on the way home. After all, swimming is a lot of exercise. I can already feel my stomach growling at me. Same here. And she quickly gets through a meal before I've even got started. As I eat, I can't help but notice a strange look on Momoko's face. And she wanders off from the table. I find Momoko standing by herself on the other side of the shack. Momoko, what are you doing back here? Oh, Seiji, I, I just wanted to have a moment to myself. Just thinking about something, that's all. About what? Just things, I guess. She looks towards the ocean with a glint in her eyes. You haven't spent any time with us at all lately. Yeah, sorry about that. I'm, I'm trying my best to get my grades up now. Right, you want to study physics, don't you? Yeah, I want to become an astrophysicist. I figured it would be fun to work out how the universe works. I'm so happy that you're ambitious. A smile fades away slowly, though. But, I must admit, it feels like you've been avoiding me lately. Really? Sorry, I've, I've been a bit of a hermit late. I forgive you, silly. Now that I think about it, it, it hasn't been just the three of us for a very long time. Not since middle school, when we went on that school trip. I don't know how to put it, but it feels like you've been out of reach. You're always somewhere else, you always have been. She's not wrong. I'm the eternal daydreamer. My body is here, but my mind... That's always somewhere else. Just remember to visit your friends every now and then, Seiji. I worry about you a lot. It'll be nice to get some reassurance now and then. Don't worry, don't worry. We'll always stay in touch, won't we? I promise, after our exams are over, we'll spend plenty of time together. That was the point of this trip, wasn't it? Yeah, you're right. You took time out to come here with Ayumi and I. And I'm really glad that you did. Please, tell me you aren't going to disappear on us. With that said, let's have the most fun we can have while we're still here. And she's starting to cheer up now. Yeah, on another note. What flavour of ice cream's best? Oh, mint. Definitely mint flavoured. Eh, I think vanilla's the best. You boring sod. Open your mind to new ideas, Seiji. Here, we're going to get you a coffee ice cream. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, I don't like coffee at all. And let's face it, I basically drink now, but water. Sometimes it's flavoured water. In fact, quite often it's flavoured water. That's... We'll never understand why people like hot drinks. I like my drinks cold and refreshing. Thank you very much. And just coffee tastes awful. So it's tea, actually. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm a British man who doesn't like tea. But for the record, I know how to make it. And if anybody ever wants a cup, I'll make, you know, there'll always be a kettle in the house. But I don't really like... What did you say? What did I just say about trying new things, Seiji? Fine, fine. I'll go get that coffee ice cream. <sighs> but I want you and Ayumi to try something with me in return. You've got a deal, Seiji. We'll do anything. She leans uncomfortably forward, sticking her chest out while she does.